Hey, welcome back everybody and hope you guys all had a good Thanksgiving. All right, we are back yet again here at the hangar. If you notice, I don't have a power cart rolled over here, either the NC8 or the Dash 60. There's a reason for that. Our transformer rectifier has not arrived yet. I know, I know. But based on the tracking number that we got, it's arriving Monday, so we'll have it this coming week, but it certainly wasn't here ready to go for today. So. What we're gonna do instead is something that we can do, which involves the high pack and this model of highly technical specialized fluid, AKA it's just soapy water. We're gonna do some leak checks on the aircraft. It's about 60 degrees outside, so the temperature is dropping, so it's a decent enough conditions, I should say, for us to uh, leak check. So we're gonna get this thing uh, fired up and charge up the air, but first, let's go see where we are at for pressures. So right up here in the nose gear bay, we have our pressure gauges for several of the accumulators. The ram air turbine, which is empty. The emergency flaps, which is holding right around 3,000 PSI. Wow, that's awesome. And the emergency gear uh, accumulator, which has dropped to about, I don't know, about 1,700 thereabouts on the gauge. So that one leaked down. That one's holding. That one's got a very slow leak. So this isn't uncommon. The last time we hit this thing with air was uh, right around the time of the air show. We got one more over here, which it's the emergency brake accumulator. So we need a, it's got the pre-charge of a thousand PSI on it. And then we need hydraulic pressure to charge this up the rest of the way. So yeah. That one should be okay, but yeah, we'll hit this with some soap water too once we charge up the air system. All right, let's get that compressor fired up.
All right, compressor shut down, the air accumulators are charged up, but I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but uh, that's a leak. Yeah. Let's go see what that is. Oh, that's, you can hear that one pretty dang distinctly. up again. Alright. You know what? I'm going to let this thing come up and down all the way. Let's see what happens. There we go. Bells are clear. Nobody's fingers are here. Alright, here we go. Alright. That certainly quieted that down. That'll quiet it down for now so we can go chase after some other leaks. All right, I have a feeling we're gonna be pulling this line and probably this strut cylinder out entirely, but uh, we'll get with crew chief out for that one. And the red's only at a thousand. Three thousand there, two thousand there. Where are we at pressure wise? Did it bleed down that much already? Oh, it did. We're only at a thousand PSA. The rat was at about 2800 when we shut yeah. off the compressor. And the emergency gear has. Yeah, that still one. In the green. Yeah, that one holds pretty good. Flaps are good as well. Wow. This is the line for the rat. You probably 
So it's a common system. All right. Well, I'll recharge the air again. Yippee. Got all of our pressures back up. So about 3,000 on the ram air turbine cylinder, emergency flaps, or I'm sorry, accumulator, and the emergency gear. Awesome. All right, now we can start spraying stuff down from looking for leaks. Aside from that massive one up there on the Wizzo's canopy strut, we're definitely going to be looking at that one. Right here we are in the pilot's cockpit, and I do hear something hissing somewhere in this in this neighborhood. Not exactly sure where yet. I'm gonna have to pull this jump seat out, and uh, way I can get it, get my head in in there in the consoles and start spraying a little bit of soap water. All right. One of, and one of the things we do want to check, especially on this model, is the ram air turbine, which is this control here. You just flip that down and the ram air turbine in the back of the plane on the uh, left hand side of the upper fuselage will pop out of its hole. Generates electrical power in case the crew need it. Not a feature on the E model as I've come to learn. Alright. So I'm going to deploy that just by flipping this down. I'll send you guys to the back so you guys get to see how that works. So here's the rat. So just a little electrical generator just pops out. And there are plenty of airlines, and I do hear something hissing in here. So let's go ahead and try to find that. Okay, nothing there. Okay, no bubbles so far. Hmm. Do you guys mind grabbing a rag real quick to wipe this up with? A rag. There's a white one on that yellow tug down there. Ooh, I wonder if it's coming from back there at the cylinder. There's a cylinder that pulls it out of it, pulls it up. Thank you. I'm gonna leave excess moisture in here. It does sound like it's below the. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It's kind of right back there in that little hole. Oh, yeah. I have a feeling it's the actuator back here. Hard to, t hard to see. We'll get this. We'll get this panel right here off, and that's what houses the actuator, and uh, we'll leak check that. All right, well, we got the screws out. Here we are. Oh, you can definitely hear that a lot more distinctly. Might need to pull this one too. It's definitely coming from this direction. You see that braided line down there? That's going to this end of the cylinder at the bottom in a way that I can't really access. Oh, well, maybe. Let's see what we get. No, no bubbles that way either. Hmm. Thank you. See what we can do with that one. Hmm. 
yeah, it's definitely this side. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in its hole for now. Ready? Yep. All right, so that was the rat. And with it down, no more leak. So it's only leaking when it's deployed. So that's one we'll address, but I would I would say that that is a minor leak compared to that Wizzo strut. So that'll probably be next weekend's job. Right now we're just trying to look for and find all the main leaks that we can see in here, especially since it's colder outside and it's a lot quieter today too. As I say that, there's an airplane taxi and pie. <laughs> awesome. All right, we'll spray a few fittings up here and make sure we don't get anything this way. Make sure I don't drip on myself here. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing. Yeah, I don't remember it being that bad ever. Yeah. And there goes the rest of the air pressure in the accumulator tank. All right, so fairly productive day chasing down some air leaks. We found three so far. The two, the, the one minor one in the pilot's cockpit, the other minor one on the rat. Uh, and that major one up on the Wizzle's strut, uh, the canopy strut. That's a new development because that certainly was not like that the last time we cycled the canopies, uh, that being uh, back during the air show. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, that's definitely something we are going to look at, that, look into because because of that, any air pressure that we put in the jet leaks down in about five to ten minutes. So that's a bad one. So. Looks fairly straightforward, if not a little inconvenient to get to all the fittings on it, being that it's kind of recessed down into a hole. But there's a process for that, so we'll be we'll be pulling the TO for that, so we can uh, get that addressed. So, also in other news, for those of you that enjoyed the DCS Warbird stuff, uh, being that it was Thanksgiving week, I had a few days off of work. Uh, you guys can anticipate uh, the BF 109. Uh, guide video that I've been working on for a while now uh, to be out at some point this week so looking forward to that and always fun to be flying those warbirds now all right with that that's all we got from the hangar this weekend thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time